Hello and welcome to How to Play Backgammon, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the game Backgammon. This video will start with the general concepts and gameplay and then get into more of the details for the game. The video will conclude with an example game of Backgammon. Backgammon is played with two players. Each player has 15 checkers and they are set up with 5 on the 6 point, 3 on the 8 point, 5 on the 13 point, and 2 on the 24 point. Each player's checkers should mirror the others. The object of the game is to be the first player to remove all his checkers off the board. Checkers can be removed only when all your checkers are within your home board. This is the white checkers home and this is the brown checkers home. The game begins with each player rolling one die. The player with the higher number rolled gets to use both dice for the first move. Each dice is moved separately and can be moved to any point that is not blocked. When your opponent has two or more checkers on a point, that point is blocked. If the point has your own checkers, no checkers, or only one opponent checker, that point is open. Player 1 rolled the higher 4 and moves one checker 2 points to an open point and another checker 4 points on top of it. This point is now blocked from player 2. Player 2 goes next and rolls a 4 and a 1. Player 2 moves a checker 4 points and then moves the same checker 1 point. Player 1 rolls double 3's on his next roll. When two of a kind are rolled, the player gets to move double. In this case, player one gets to move three points four times. Skipping ahead, when player two rolls a two and a one, he is able to move one of his checkers onto a point with only one of player one's checkers. When this happens, player one's checker is placed on the bar in the middle. A player is required to return any checker on the bar back into the game before making any other moves. With player 1's next turn, he rolls a 1 and a 2 and is able to return his checker into play. Skipping ahead again, player 1 rolls a 6 and a 4. Player 1 is able to get all his checkers into his home board with the 6 point move. He is now able to begin removing his checkers from the board. This is also known as bearing off. The first player to remove all his checkers from the board wins the game. By rolling a 5 and a 3, player 1 is able to remove his last two checkers to win the game. When moving the same checker with both dice numbers, the intermediate point has to be open. For example, player 2 has rolled a 3 and a 4. Although 7 points away is open, this move cannot be made because both the 3-point and the 4-point move is blocked. A checker on the bar must be returned into play before other moves can be made. If the checker is blocked from being returned into play, the player's turn is over with no moves being made. Removing checkers from the board is only allowed when all your checkers are in your home board. If one of your checkers is hit to the bar in the middle of bearing off, that checker has to be returned to your home board before you can resume bearing off. If a higher number is rolled than you have while bearing off, the farthest checker can be removed. If a player has no checkers off the board when his opponent has removed all his checkers, it is known as a gammon and is worth a double game. If a player still has a checker in his opponent's home board or on the bar, and his opponent has removed all his checkers, it is known as a backgammon and is worth a triple game. The game is set up with five checkers on the six point, three on the eight point, five on the thirteen point, and two on the twenty-four point. Each player rolls one die. Player two rolled the higher five and uses the dice to make his first moves. Player two moves one checker five points and another checker one point.
Player 1 rolls next and rolls a 6 and a 3. Player 1 moves a checker 6 points and then moves the same checker again 3 more points. The players continue taking turns rolling and moving checkers as follows. With the double threes, player one is able to remove all his checkers and wins the game. That wraps up how to play backgammon. As with most games, you will get better with practice, so don't be discouraged if it takes you a few games to catch up. Thanks for watching.